Hey everyone, this is Kieran, aka No Code Life, and I just wanted to make this quick video to show you my process for starting a new Bubble project, getting rid of all the kind of random default styles that Bubble gives you, and making sure that all my apps start off with uh, decent styles that I've made myself and um, used as a kind of template for every project. So the first thing I did, and this took me about an hour, is to set up all my styles that I want in every project. So I essentially just went to um, some kind of Figma designs where they had like templates for, for nice designs or a design system, and I recreated them in Bubble. So this is what it looks like. We've got our different headings, H1, H2, H3, H4, body text, small body text, labels, description, tags, then there's different kinds of groups with different shadows, small, medium, large, and a border group. Then I've also got button styles, so primary button, secondary button, and outline button. And also, of course, inputs, so labels, uh, and the single line input, multi line input, uh, drop down, and checkbox, and toggles, and radio buttons. So these are basically the main things that I'd use in a project and of course I will continue to add to this when I think of things. So just to show you the editor screen of this app, uh, you can see it's just a one page on a free app uh, within Bubble and each of these is just a regular Bubble text element um, but I've put in the font size and the weight and so on and I've just changed it accordingly so I've created all of these things and one important thing is I have not uh, used any style attribute for these so I haven't used the um, the kind of standard ones that came with this project I've made sure none of them had a style attribute um, because that's important when you want to copy and paste this into a new project so now when I'm starting a new project I will just create an app Okay, so skip past all of this and close the component library. So the first thing I want to do is uh, get rid of all of these standard styles that Bubble gives you uh, because I find that a lot of them are quite random and the sizing and the padding and things like that and I want things to look uh, uniform and not necessarily like a standard Bubble app. So first thing you do is go to settings, go to general scroll to the bottom and click optimize application so this will give you a list of all the styles within your app that are not being used and all will be selected so you just click clean app and then if we go back to the styles here you can see they've all gone except for two so i'm going to just delete those uh, and the reason those stayed around is i think they're used on one of the kind of uh, 404 pages perhaps or reset password so now we have absolutely no styles within this app so then I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to call it styles and uh, I'm just going to make it into a column layout and then I'm going to come back to my app here and I've got a container group uh, which I've called group copy this which has everything within it and so I'm just gonna copy with a command and C and then paste in here uh, and so that's all pasted in it looks slightly different because all of these elements are using the app font so all I need to do now is go into style variables here and change open sans to my font of choice which is inter and I also know that um, in this uh, some of these use the kind of style variable that's called surface uh, and I want it to be slightly off-white so I'm going to go in here and get my colors and just copy this hex code that I used for surface uh, because in a default app it's white and I'm just going to uh, change that color there. So now if we go back to this page, these have all changed to inter. And you can see that these um, now have a background that is slightly off-white. Uh, and then I, all I need to do now is go through and click on each one of these. And 
click style attribute and create a new style. So this is going to be H1. H2 and what this is going to do is it's going to create a style in the uh, format of the thing that I've clicked on. So this is just the quickest way that I've found to create all your styles. Now it does seem to create a body tech body style for you so I'm going to just reload this. I'm going to delete the body it gave me because I'm going to create my own. So when I come down to buttons, so I've actually used text elements for these buttons because it allows you to do things like this, which is put a font awesome icon within the button, which otherwise um, you can't do on a regular button and to do it, you'd have to use a kind of group with text and an icon. So the simplest way is to do it this way. Uh, so these are all just variants of the primary button. So I'm just gonna create one that's called primary button. Now this toggle here is um, actually something that I created because Bubble doesn't have a toggle element um, by default but all it is is a group with a 20 pixel roundness and within it is another group with a 100 pixel roundness uh, and this group within it is 18 wide by 18 high and then this group is 44 wide by 24 high and all I do is when I want to switch it from off to on, I change the uh, horizontal alignment of the icon in the middle. So I can have it left and right, depending whether it's off or on. And I also uh, change the color accordingly. So this, this actually should have a background color of uh, surface, I think. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I just changed the colors of um, the groups and changed the alignment to, to toggle between off and on. And then this is just a radio buttons. Okay, so now I've done that, if I go over to my styles, I can see here I've got all of those styles already set up so now whenever I'm making anything um, I'll just be able to use these styles instead of having to make them up from from scratch and of course I can go into the style variables and I can change any of the colors uh, and it will change throughout the app I can create new color variables if I want and I can also change the app font if I need to and if I need to update any style at any point I can just come in here and make the changes and it will apply to all of the elements throughout the app so that is just a really quick way of getting your bubble app set up um, and getting everything looking nice to make your build faster. Um, of course, you'd probably want a redirect on this page so that no one can see it. Alternatively, uh, you can just put it into a reusable element. And if that element is not used anywhere on a page, then no one will be able to access it. Um, I hope this was useful. I'm going to include this whole style sheet and a lot more about it in my upcoming bubble course. So I'll drop the link to that in the description if you'd like to pre-order it. But thanks very much for watching and see you soon.